All right, Gotti Schwartz mentioned seven and a half feet. To give you a better idea, I'm about five nine, maybe about six feet with my heels. So we are talking about a storm surge this tall over folks' heads. I mean, this is very, very dangerous as the water is going to tower over people. Now imagine that amount of water coming ashore. Now, as you might expect, there are a lot of Michiganders not just worried about this hurricane, thank you very much, but also directly impacted it. And that includes one who just recently moved to the area. Florence is about to wall up. So let's bring in Paula Tutman. She joins us live this afternoon. And Paula, I understand this person is refusing to leave, which obviously makes me very concerned. Very concerned. Karen, let's put this in more perspective. I'm 5'1". You stand on my shoulders, that water is still over your head. Lots of people say they don't like the weather in Michigan. Oh, we only have two seasons, construction and winter. Wait a minute and the weather will change. Well, you know what? She had nothing holding her here. And so she decided she wanted a change in climate. I don't think this is what she meant, though. When Nikki Bishop left Michigan for warmer weather and sunnier skies, she did not realize that she would be putting down fragile new roots four months ahead of what's being called the storm of a lifetime. It's like a ghost town over here. It's usually a hot tourist spot. And I think it's about right now. Uh, this place has been closed for two days already. And as you can hear, the wind is starting to pick up a little. Earlier this spring, Nikki left Waterford Township, Michigan and headed for Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Her home a mere two miles from the ocean. But she says she's made good friends who've given her good counsel and she is confident she can ride out the hurricane without evacuating. But she is in a first floor apartment and that means preparation. I have sandbags and my apartment is actually built up higher to withstand the flooding. And it is built above code for hurricanes as well. I just wanted to show you all the stuff I have packed up for my supplies and what I've done for my first hurricane. Myrtle Beach is part of the danger zone. The storm has slowed and stalled. Businesses have spent the day boarding up and getting ready. In fact, where Nikki lives, it's being forecasted that by Friday, it will be a high impact zone with sustained hurricane force winds, up to 30 inches of rainwater, and the shoreline simply cannon fodder for rains and surging surf just two miles from her door. Lots of water back there. Over there, I have more water for when I run out of the cold stuff. I also have everything picked up off the floor. Um, everything that means anything, which pictures can't be replaced or up off the floor. She says she's not even nervous, maybe a little anxious. Said the structure here, they're supposed to stand 175, 70 mile per hour winds. So we'll see. <laughs> yeah, wow. Okay, so let's think about the Detroit River and then go all the way to Little Caesars Arena. That's about two miles. That seems like a long way away for water to travel, but not this water. Karen, I will say this. We have her number. She's got friends and loved ones in this area. We will stay in touch with her and them throughout the weekend to let you know how she's doing. She says she'll be okay, and our fingers are crossed. We sure we hope so. It.